Welcome to Beyond Measure. Today we're going to create a card incorporating the November tag of 2012 by Tim Holtz. Please go to the address on your screen for the instructions to create the tag. I'm misting hemp cord to create a little curly cue, almost like the vines of a pumpkin. And I use some distress stain for color, wrapping it around the end of the paintbrush and leaving it to air dry. Next we'll use some add a little dazzle.com metal sheet and paint the silver side with white acrylic artist's paint. This is called wicker white. Let air dry, then apply sporadically some clear rock candy crackle paint by Tim Holtz. We created some fall leaves, pumpkins, vines, and acorn in the Make the Cut software and cut them on the zinc out of the coordinations by Tim Holtz Distress Collection, making sure to sand before removing them from the outer boundaries. Boy, this crackle worked great. Now we need to use our Ranger embossing pen to apply some vintage photo distress embossing powder. Once you heat it, it really adheres great to the metal. I had no idea that it would adhere so beautifully. Next, once you have um, melted it with the heated tool, you'll need to rub over it once it's cooled to get the little distressing granules off. Now let's ink with Vintage Photo Distressing by the wonderful Tim Holtz. Next we'll use our Texture Boutique by Sissix and the Damask Tim Holtz Texture Fade by Sissix also. It's an embossing folder. Just place it in and run it through. Sand lightly on some chipboard, then we'll need to shake the dust off, then apply some Distress Clear Embossing Ink so that we can add a little bit more of that wonderful um, Vintage Photo Distress Powder. Heat, wipe away the granules, and then cut. Honestly, at this point, I really didn't know where we were going with this card, so we do a few different shapes with our metal. <laughs> this foundation of our pumpkin was cut with the wonderful zing. I've used some picket fence distress stain on it for a whitewashed effect, and then we embossed it with the Texture Boutique using the Damask Texture Fade by Tim Holtz. Next, we'll sand atop the chipboard and ink with some Vintage Photo Distressing by Tim Holtz. And now we need edge-to-edge -edge adherence, so we're placing the pieces of the pumpkin that we cut out through the one and a half inch X marks the spot. Zyron Create a Sticker Machine. Use your scrap piece of paper that you cut the pumpkin shapes from as a stencil. It makes placement so much easier. Now, as it's still on the background, go ahead and get your rusty hinge ink out and ink it a bit. This is distressing also, of course, and also use some vintage photo and lift up and voila, it turns out so beautifully. And now we'll cut a little square of burlap, fraying it with a straight pin and accenting it with a picket fence distress stain. It is awesome. It's a little bit opaque and go around the edges and over a bit of the wheat with it too. Up next we'll get out our Provocraft Cuddle Bug to emboss the face of our card. First emboss half of the front of the card with the wood grain Tim Holtz Texture Fade by Sussex. Run it through, take it out, and then replace on the unembossed front and emboss with one B plate, one A plate, and I think it's five different pieces of cardstock. How fun, how fun! I love this texture fade. Let's accent it with a bit of a whitewash with the ever so popular Picket Fence Distress Stain by Tim Holtz. Using the Distress Embossing Ink by Tim Holtz, ink around the edges very sporadically of your tag and then add the Vintage Photo Distress Embossing Powder around the edges and heat. 
This is one of Tim Holt's marvelous Muse tokens. I wanted more of a shabby chic feel, so I painted it with some white, sanded it, and just rubbing off to my liking. Up next, we get to use the We Are Memory Keepers Corner Chomper. What a uber cool tool. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> This rhinestone flourish was cut with an electronic cutting machine and it was designed by Penny Duncan's Creations. Place it atop your project and put little dots where the little cuts are. This is some double sided, very sticky tape from Oriental Trading. We're placing it around the outer edge of the face of the card, making sure to adhere and press firmly. We'll do the same on the inside of the card, but you won't do it by the score line. You'll need to trim it with scissors and then press firmly again. Now, here's where the fun begins. The backing, and here we go. We get to adhere the metal. Had I known I was going to apply the metal to the card like this, I probably wouldn't have cut it in such small pieces, but I had to make do with what I had. <laughs> I guess it makes it more shabby chic, right? <laughs> Using the edges in which we used the corner chopper, I just trimmed the metal and used those pieces for my corners. For my rounded corners, that is. Continue to cover your double-sided tape, and once you've done so, get out your paper stump and burnish firmly along the edges. Next, we'll open up our card, remove the backing of our adhesive, and fold our metal over, adhering it to the inside of the card. You can use your brayer to press firmly. If we leave the spine of our card like this, it will not open and close very easily. So you'll need to trim the metal off and then replace it on the back because the slit or the cut will enable movement on our card. Now this is the uber fantastic Viva Decor Pearl Pin in Iced White. I use Viva Decor Pearl Pins because it makes beautiful pearls each time. Using more burlap, let's create some ribbon. By trimming a strip of burlap and slightly fraying the edges, now we'll do a little dovetail on the end. Let's accent it with a distress stain in picket fence. Remembering that once the picket fence is dry and soaked in, it will not be quite as intense. Miss the hug snug seam binding with water, then sporadically place some wild honey, weathered wood, and barn door distress stain on it. Then dry. Either air dry or use your heated tool. Fold your burlap ribbon in half and cut slits about a thumb's width between each slit. This will create a carrier for your ribbon that you just created. Take a teeny piece of acetate or transparency, cut and then fold down the middle to create a ribbon needle, so to speak, so that you can sew it, so to speak, in and out of your burlap ribbon slots. The trim are scraps that I had left over from an earlier project, but they were made with the Martha Stewart Eyelet Punch and inked with Walnut Stain Distress Ink. And this purple thing is the ultimate Crafter's Companion by Crafter's Companion. Now you see what our misted and dyed hemp cord looks like. Using the Scotch ATG gun, we'll place some adhesive along the edge of our trim and adhere to the edge of our burlap ribbon. Next, we'll add some adhesive to the edge of the other piece of trim that we created with the eyelet punch and adhere it to the bottom of our tag. And trim with your tonic scissors. Next, we'll use the Xyron 900 sticker maker machine and run our ribbon, trim, and tags through so that they'll have edge-to-edge -edge adherence. Peel away the clear protective sheet and then you get to peel off your um, ribbon with your trim, place upon the face of the card in the center and then peel off your tag, making sure to press firmly around all edges. 
Oh my goodness, I love these fall colors. And the bow with the little curly cues. See, there's the paintbrush, and then it just comes off so easily. So now I have an extra one for another project. Get out your Zot's 3D glue dot and stretch and form so that you can adhere your bow to the tag. Now we're using the Zot's mini glue dots to give the tails of the ribbon a windswept look. I really do love this effect and it's so super easy. So you'll place it on one side and then alternate sides so that you can rotate the ribbon around and give it some slack. Make sure everything is adhered and fluffed the way you desire and get out the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist in suede. Get your little spraying box or scrap piece of chipboard and mist a beautiful vintage shimmer. And this is our completed project. Keep your chin up, you're doing super great. I am so very thankful for you. Be blessed beyond measure.